Dracula 2013, the blood is the life. Fudding, fud, fudding, metal hitting stone, groaning grunts, shadow man. After all these long years, how famished you must be. Dutchman, ah, sweet Jezebel. Look, we're rich, laughing, groaning. The blood is the life. Grasping, screaming, all the guests have arrived. Photographed upon entry, as arranged. And the prototype is ready for demonstration as scheduled. As is, it is, sir, as scheduled. From this day forward, you are American industrialist. As American as God, guns and bourbon, as scheduled. You're very good, sir. Good evening. I am Alexander Grayston. Band playing lively tune. It's breathtaking. Grass. Well, isn't this exciting? I'm liking this, Grayson. Oh, Grayson. Already. His glass is worth more than I earn in a week. Don't be ga- gauche, Jonathan. Besides, I'm worth more than you make a month. Lucy, I only make it a bit of fun. You do, you're not cross, well, cross with me, are you? I'd be simply desolated, desolate, desolate, devastated. Of course not. You're far too charming. I am, aren't I? I'm off. Now you remember your promise, won't you? I'm your guest tonight, not a journalist. He's sure he's such a darling, isn't he, Alistair? Uh, Alistair, you based. Where have you been hiding, Lucy, darling? It's quite a literally eclectic group. New money, old money, no money left. Which do you suppose is Alistair Grayson, so son? I'm sure he's announced himself to great funfair. They always do at these things. How... I ever let you talk me into this seriously? Somebody had to pry you out of the, the, that. Someone had to pry you out of that laboratory. Juggles the truth. Who would you rather spend your evening with, me or pickled toad? Ah, the toad. With the least, there's a chance my kiss might turn into him into prince. Well, he hasn't. He, he hasn't. He tried hard. Might as well have papered the walls with pound notes. How distressingly American. Frankly, I may so many of us turned up at all. How can we properly mock him if we haven't set eyes on the man? Ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure to introduce you. The master of Kalodic's Manor, your host, Mr. Alexander Grayson. All applauding. Welcome to my house. May you all come, you may you come freely, go safely, and please leave some of the happiness you bring. Is everything all right? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Somebody walked over my grave, I suppose. That woman. Blue satin. Chiffron. I want to know everything about her. A man she's with. Of course, sir. Ah, the mysterious Mr. Grayson. Finally we meet. And you would be? I would be in a nice warm bath, but simply to see what's all the fuss about. Laughs. Jane would it ever be? Ah, Lord Weatherby, my good law, oh, good God, this is uh, my companion for the, for the night, uh, my very dear friend, Herr Kurgula, Gerson Hart. Ah, Mr. Sir Clive Dawson, as on a Grayson, permit me to introduce you to my wife, Lady Hope. What an impressive ballroom, Mr. Grayson. My resent live in Lord Davenport and Lady Lavendant, and Lord Lavendant. Lord Lavendant, splendid. Now I'm not mistaken, you and Sir Clive have co-chaired a board of British Imperial Coland Company. We sit on a number of boards, Mr. Grayson. Indeed you do. British Imperials holds patents, paints of high efficiency coolants, which would be most useful advancing one of my technological projects. Um, I very much like to acquire your, those patents. The patents with Grayson, British Imperial Company, is a business of selling up products to British industry, not to our underlying patents to interlope colonials. Darling, perhaps next time you sway Mr. Grayson through his bookmakers. He's an imperial gambler and not a terribly good one, from what I gather. Donovan, where did you, where did you, Alexander Grayson, Jennifer, Jonathan Harker, this is my most lovely friend, Mr. Mia, Miss Mia Murray. Of course, Mia. I'm sorry, it's just, I swear, we met, yes. I was thinking the same thing, pardon me, sir. It's time, oh yes, excuse me. Tell me, Mr. Renfield, who is this Jonathan Harker? He's a portrait of the Inquisitor. He's also tenacious and very, very ambitious. And a woman, Mina Murray. 
medical student, father of Dr. William Murray, director of the Bear of Pelham Royal Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, please gather in the centre of the ballroom. Mr. Harker, R.M. Renfield. Are you aware the invitation is especially per bad, the press? I can assure you I'm fully here on a social basis. What a shame, Mr. Rayson. We'd be disappointed not to be writing at least a few word or two. If you're in- interested, we'd like you to come by tomorrow for an interview. And if you, of course, we- you'll be, in- I'd be interested. 4.30 then. Symbol claiming by now, Mr. Grayson, would you like to share a demonstration his latest technical marvel? I guess, when I was a boy, my father told me stories of Dark Ages. Time and culture of learning were eclipsed by barbaric ritual and war. Over years, I've come to believe that the Dark Ages never actually ended. The fear and hatred, brutality, once plagued our ancestors, plagued us, us still. Tonight, in my sublime pressure to demonstrate a way out, out of the darkness. What time is innocent and missed as mere fantasy? What new killer Tesla failed to bring to fruition? I give you tonight power drawn from the metatosphere, the same invisible source that compels an eagle to cut on its compass to point north. Her arrest, amplified by my assistant scientists and technicians. I give you fee safe wireless power now, stage one. Stand by, stay one, groaning in such a possible being possible and theory, I suppose. But if you make brought up to market, which what effect would it have for petroleum interests? Shattering, of course. Nothing we need to worry about. More power, Mark two. Say two, Mark. Grass. Lucy Lucy laughs. It's some sort of trick. This must there must be a wire in hells and it sells deeply, laughs, laughs, or grasping, or clamoring instinct. It is shouting. You're experiencing some technical difficulties, sir. Just a few more seconds. Screaming worker. I'm burning, I'm burning. The coolant is evaporated. I'm shutting down. All murmuring. All ladies and gentlemen. I thank you for your patience. I trust your little demonstration was illuminating. All laughing. Lady Miss Mayora. Miss Mysterio ravishing. Miss Mary. You look a little shaken. Not sure what I just witnessed. The future, Mrs. Murray. The beginning of a new era, Mr. Harker. Tomorrow, then? Yes. Yes, of course. He seems quite taken with you. Oh, the green-eyed monster tears its ugly head. Don't be sorry, said he, Mr. Rayson. Just being polite. More than polite, I, I say. Oh, Cordiales. That was extraordinary. Lady Jane. Lady Jane didn't hear you approaching. I say that as if it was an accomplishment, Mr. Grayson. Alexander, please. You know there's a touch of impressionario about you, Alexandra. Your performance this evening was no less than operatic. As I am in here, patron to the opera, I take that as a comp- comp- compliment, though I'm certain it was meant to be quite the opposite. Laughing, you are. So you love the opera. Well, may I be the first to invite you to the opening of the season? Tell me, Alexander, will you join me? I observed my own box. Pity. I feel you enjoyed the performance so much more than mine. In mine, I'd no doubt. Mm, thank you for coming. Madam Mr. Grayson, you think you fooled everyone? Your third stunt tonight? You're sadly mistaken. Am I? You're fooled, sir. You will see that we never discuss business here. Tight way to clicking. She's not going to wait forever. If you don't ask her to marry you soon, someone else is bound to. Who, Maya? Grayson. Don't be absurd. You must have noticed the way he leered at you. He did not. At least it's not boring. As much as I enjoy you being, having you spend the night in my house, could you be pleased for once talk about something other than how tedious you find Jonathan? Besides, he's not boring. What am I saying is that he could do, she could do better. Wishing dog barking. 
Do did you see anything? No. What do you suppose what do you suppose it is? Night, Sir Clive. Good night. Come on, good boy. Clive screaming, Grayson, the man has a pig. You sold him me. The man was a pig you sold me over my under my own roof, Renfield. Do you t- so you tear him into pieces. Perhaps we should mount a warning sign front door. I told you this corruption, this hubris is unbridled. It's always been the way of the Order of the Dragon. Still, there's one thing I hear. It's quite the other to see it with one of those eyes. Readily and identified a coldly grotesque sense of entitlement. Like this one. Like this one. Lord Lovenup. A pretty new little peacock. Another one. Lord, what's his name? Davenport, Davenport. Those two stink of the High Council. Put them on the short list. What, who do you suppose is the leader? Could be any one of these, nor none. How very incuricurous. But did you cross them, Renfield? They would strike you down like vipers in a pit. Murder, torture, rape, wholesale slaughter. That is stock rate trade of the Order of the Dragon. It had been... Has been for over five hundred years. My past they asserted them, their will more directly, via the cross and the sword, slaughtering entire villages, branding men and women heretics, burning them alive and watching them burn, screaming for God who never came. Now they do their dirty work by uh, private clubs and holding boardrooms. They play business, politics, and oil. One thing, Renfield. And that last thing Renfield be done doing, they believe it's fuel the next century. They control it, they control the future. But with the moment we demonstrate the verability of geometric technology, poof, no more money, no more power, no more order of the dragon, size, a door unlocking. You fall a well a full examination as instructed. Any signs of paric feeding? To do much damage to the neck to make positive determination. So he sir so he severs a man's head, addresses it up. A roasted French hen. Well, it's had to be done. You know why? How long has it been since a vampire stalked the streets of this city? Seven years, eight years. Oh, yes, the well, chapel killings. God, when I think of the trouble we went to manipulating the body, victims, hide the signs, obscure letters we wrote to the press. Oh, Jack the Ripper, indeed. What do you suggest? Well, unless proven. I think we must assure that Clive is targeted by our enemies. Whether natural or not, I put Kugel in patrol. I've been, I've been keep an eye on the High Council members' houses. And definitely, no, until time events proves us cautious. Don't even know he's there. Let's see if he did, and see it, uh, we don't. It's strictly between you and me for now. You don't want to make the others any more nervous than they already are. Mm, oh, if anyone asks, if he's killed by a dog, good girl, and take the bloody thing with you. Bell Tolling, the structure of the neutron is absolutely distinct from the other cells in the human body. Mr. Campbell, sorry, sir. We aren't, we wasn't, uh, Professor von Helsing. Yes, Miss Vary. Mr. Campbell was only pointing to, out to this colleague how illiterate certain aspects of the front page article got a generation of electrical wind pulses are subject to your future today. Mr. Campbell, quite right, Mr. Campbell. Miss Grace's new technology is germane for the subject of hand. Me, however, I would suggest you discuss such organizations outside of class. Revel, Mr. Grayson, you'll be right with you. Close or closing. Mr. Harker? How good you you to come. Please take a seat. Have a seat. Would you like some wine? A bit early for me, thank you. I prefer whiskey. You would know, my editor believes, you're after a sort of puffery. Puffery? Yes. And why would you think that? Don't, didn't field any interview requests for those of your position? You mean it's wealthy? No, I mean the privilege. Usually they run for the other way. That's because you stand against the same vested interests. They would prefer I return to America. I don't think anyone had noticed I did. They were precisely why I invited you for this interview. What? Shall we begin? Very well.
Why England is a country my great grandmother's of birth. God is a homecoming. Nothing to do with Anderson running out of the states, sir. Grayson chuckles. And Europe speaks to him. Away, me, away, no other place does. You know, we call it the old world for a reason. It lo- her people seek. And you, whenever they can. I understand the struggle. Maybe I'm standing from a very old family. But my mind always fixed on the future. I surround myself with things that speak to both the ancient and the new. You're full of contradictions, aren't you? So is the world. Mm-hmm. It's precisely why I wanted to speak, talk to you. You see, we are on the premises of that great change. We're with, uh, we're here within ourselves to refine our species, stammering. You say species as though people were animals. What do you mean by that? It's not that Miss Darwin taught us. A man involves, that is, what they have come here to accomplish, to physicate their inv- 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 evolution. Evolution. Give nature a helping hand, as to speak. Miss Murray, Professor, come in, have a seat. What is it? Well, um, we shouldn't be undergoing our final examination, yes? As you know, the student who scores the highest will be given the opportunity to serve as our research assistant. I see. And you have consistently scored the highest marks in class of every written oral exam. However, my surgical technique leaves much to be desired, yes. Professor, I can't chill how often I practice. But the moment the council paces epidemus, paces epidemus, well, my hands begin to tremble. And no matter what I do, they mean I always found a secret, a steady hand is a steady heart. I don't understand. You must believe in yourself, your ability to heal others. Is it that simple? But I do. If so, then you will be succeed. Until then, you know this the heart never lies. Me and thank you, my old colleague. Yes, I will agree. Good night. Me and good night. Good night, male colleague. Good night. Good night. You seek trashing. Hello, friend. Fiend, sorry to have kept you. Friend laughs. I just bumped into the most charming man. Moaning, screaming. It's very generous, Mr. Grayson, to give us you, you his box tonight. Laughs. Well, he's obviously wants me to write some nice things about him, doesn't he? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. A man such as Grayson is so desperate to court favour of you. You think he's so he's satisfied with his beautiful home, or those beautiful paintings of thrilling technology, not to mention his good looks and charisma. Bell dinging. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's very impressive. You want? You have something you he will never have. What's that, Miss Me? Tents, operatic music playing, oh, operatic music playing, singing in German. Their views much better back here. Is it? I can't imagine that it's possible. Why don't you join me in sea and sails? Why, yes. It's astonishing. I trust you were, were in reserve. The invitation did quest most discreet company. Yes, it did. I did. It did. Though I'm concerned as American, you might not understand the meaning of the word discreet. I had to look it up. Tell me, what other words did you have to look up insatiable? Moans, incorrigible, moaning, louder, Jane gasping, unquenchable. So it's Clyde, not a day in the ground, and Grayson descends on his widow like a bird of prey. Look up your clave's entire block of imperial coolant. Why on earth would she sell out to him? He purchased the paper and Clive's gambling debts and threatened to sue his estate. Good God, so... You see, she had no choice but to trade a stock to order, avert a scandal. Obviously loathsome, absolutely loathsome. The whole business, damn business, hmm. But you must admit, well played. That's easy for you to say. He's not your business partner. He's, uh, he's hardly that old man. Just a seat on the board. He's not, he's, uh, he's, he's not as if he had controlling interests, growing in cooler, but in hell, gr- gr- screaming, gurgling. Thou dare fair, well, brother huntsman, killed and paled the hearts of many beasts, before their will was steeled. For you die, take heart, you soon be joined in hell by scores of your brethren. I will destroy your order, and everything it stands for, you are Dracula, next snappling, female vampire. Practice all you want, I won't save you, it speaks. Save me from what, the one who drew you to London? No one drew me, you're nothing. Errant fly attracted a stench of rot. Tell me what your sire's name. You know there are fates you kind, for your kind lot worse than death. I know them all. 
How long do you think it's going to take this to rust at the bottom of how long do you think this is going to take to dust this at the bottom of the lake? Years, decades. Would you want, would, but you will will me? What would you will, will to me? There will be another, be another follows, another and another. Soon, soon we will be legion. I'm wondering when you make, make your entrance. A plan was leveraged, so Scottish slaves leave gambling cr- debts against interests, not his widows. I saw the opportunity and seized it. It's a petrous and careless. You got the job done. How many times must I explain the difference between Veneta and vengeance? This cannot become a war of attrition. The order, Dracula, is like the hydrid. Cut off a head, they grow one, two to replace it. Funny, that's, that's what, what not, that's not what happened to Sir Clive's head. Don't be fool. You know the only way to crush them is to wipe out the entire source of their power. Their vast wealth. I'm not had my work undone by lack of discipline. Screaming, give one good reason I should pe- peel. I shouldn't peel you like a great Roman, because without me, you're simply rotting in your iron box, trees deeply. You think I'm not immune to rage? The order dragon slaughtered my entire family. You must not give to your basic instincts. You must practice control. You must follow a path, true. Our hatred was born in the same group of all. You gave it form, but I gave it strength. We are not bound by what we have lost, but by we, who we who took it. Screaming, no. They killed my wife, my love. Screaming, and now, and for those crimes, I shall have my vengeance. Screaming, grafts. <laughs>